Hello everyone, it's Sissy from Just Kitty Photography and today in my tutorial I'm going to show you a quick and simple way to do hat swap. In this case, um, these two images I picked because uh, I like this pose but um, her eyes were looking down and I like this one because her eyes are up and we can see the catch lights in her eyes. Okay, I'm gonna get started. Okay, so first thing first is you use this um, square lasso tool and I put the feather to about 20 pixel, oh, 30, sorry, 30 pixel and just select the, um, the face area Control c for copy or command c and command v for paste um, then i change the opacity to about 30 or 40 percent so i can see the underneath layer but um, see how her head is bigger than the layer underneath. So my son just came back. And my daughter is at home too. There's some noises at the background if you excuse me. And my dog too. It's a busy family. Um, okay, so then I adjust to the size that's roughly about right. Uh, what I look for is the chin here and the head lying up there. So apparently the, the hair was still a bit low. So if I move it a bit higher and hit enter. Change the opacity to 100%. And I use a black mask, sorry, a white mask. This one here, a white mask. Then I use a brush, a black brush. Change the opacity to about 40%. Sorry, my kids are yelling. And then slowly brush over the, the areas that you don't need. Like this finger here, I don't need to see it. Sorry, I have to pause here. Sorry guys, I'm back. This is the reason I don't do a lot of um, editing tutorials because uh, there's always something happening here. Um, I have a home studio and I do most of my editing at home. Okay, carry on. Um, I was... Uh, trying to remove all the um, the pieces that are on top the top layer that I don't want so using the black brush at um, about 40% 40, 40 opacity okay and here as well um, her arm And this hand here. So I turn it on and off to see if there's something that still looks odd. This hand here looks a bit awkward for me. Um, so I'm still going to work on a bit more on this cheek here. Okay, it looks better to me. Turning on and off, look at all the details and I don't like the blurry backgrounds on the top layer. I'm gonna just use the same brush, make it a bigger. Just go over the background fabric. Don't touch the um, um, the head area because that 
just gonna what you're gonna do is just remove that fabric just leave the top um, I mean the, the entire body wherever they are otherwise you're gonna remove the um, the top layer so black brush is reveal um, sorry black black brush is uh, remove and the white brush is uh, is to show if it makes sense so white mask is what you have on top on the top layer and then the black black mask sorry the black brush is to just remove wherever you don't need them to show okay and then turn on and off and this little bit corner there keep on brushing see if you go over to the hair the underneath layer is going to pop up if you accidentally remove that that bit there just hit x to um, bring the background forward so i use a white brush this way is to seal seal the background and still X black brush to remove the background okay um, still a bit blurry here check all the facial Features. I'm not sure if that's a shadow. Yeah, it looks like a shadow. It's a shadow. So all good. I'm gonna merge the two layers. Control E, Command E for merge. Then I will start working um, on her skin tone um, because this is um, the this tutorial is to show you how I do the face. Um, the hat swap. I'm um, just not going to go into the detail about the skin editing. Quickly just remove the skin, um, these spots. I used a, um, uh, what's it called? The spot healing tool to remove these unwanted marks Okay, so after the skin added, the the, this is the finished image. I'm going to show you the before and after. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have enjoyed and learned the trick how to swap heads for newborn babies um, and uh, if you like me please subscribe and you will see um, many of our other tutorials uh, also you can leave a comment below thank you for watching have a good day